Hi guys, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. And this short video, uh, another video in our series on Excel basics, in particular Excel functions and the basic functions in Excel, is going to concentrate on how to count how many values there is in a collection or in a, in a range of data. Okay? And there's many ways to do this. Okay? So what I have here is I have a collection of data here. You can see I have one, two, three, four, I have five columns of data. And actually I also have I also have 12 rows of data here. Okay? And what I'd like to actually know is in total, okay, uh, what's the count? How many values are there in this particular collection? Now we know already that there's five columns and there's 12 rows, so that actually there's 60 values in this particular data set. But let's say we have a larger data set uh, and we want to count uh, some of the data set has longer columns, there's more values in one column than there is in other columns and so on, and we want to do a total count of that data. Uh, so it's not as easy when we know how many columns and how many rows there is just to do the, the product of them two numbers to calculate the count because some values will be missing and so on. But in Excel, what we have is we have a function and the function is called count that allows us to count how many values there is in a range of data. So I suppose what I'm going to do first is in this cell here, I'm just going to apply the function count to count how many values there is in this particular collection of values here. Okay. So what I'm going to do is, once again, to go into function mode in Excel, we hit equals. And I'm going to type out the name of the function, which is called count, followed by an, a round, an open round brace. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the first cell's values, and I'm going to scroll down to the last cell's values over here, which is going to put in the range of values that I want to count. So I'm going to go from C3, and I'm just going to scroll right across here, down to G14. Okay, And I'm just going to close off my round brace and I'm going to hit return and what that tells us is that there's 60 observations there's 60 observations in this particular data set okay let me actually remove one okay so I'm going to remove this particular observation here okay and there you go we've got 59 now let's remove maybe two out of this particular this particular column here okay you can see we've 57 let's remove three here three data values and you can see we've got 54 in total maybe let's remove four data values here Okay, and let's maybe remove the other two up here. And what we have is we have 50 data values in total. Okay, that's the totality of the number of values in this particular range here. Okay, say if I'm interested in, in adding up or counting how many values there is in each specific column. Okay. Well, all I need to do is I go to the column here. Let's say I want to put the count of how many values are in this column in this cell. Well, I go. To, I just activate the, the, that particular cell by clicking on it. I go into function mode by hitting equals, and I call the function count. Count, followed by a round brace, and I specify the range of values that I want to count. In this case, the values that are in the first column. And I close off the round brace, and I hit return, and there you go. There's 12 values in that particular column. If I want to count the next column, I just activate the cell by clicking on it. I go into function mode by hitting equals. I spell out the word count, followed by a round brace, and I highlight the values in the column that I want to count. And I close off my round brace, and I hit return, and there's 10 in that particular column. Okay? Now, we don't want to do that, uh, keep typing that out all the way across on these columns here. So what I can actually do is just take this column here, okay, uh, and take the little square value here, at the bottom right of the cell and drag that across to the end here and what that will do is we'll apply the count function to each column okay uh, in this particular data set if i want to count how many values there are in the rows once again i activate the particular cell i go into the function mode by hitting equals and i type out the name of the function which is count followed by a round brace and i specify the cells that i want to count Okay. In this case, from C3 through to G3, and I close off my round brace, and I hit return, and that tells me that there's five values in that particular row. If I just hover over this small little square here in the right-hand bottom of the cell and drag that down to the end, what that's going to do is apply that function down each particular row, across each particular row, counting how many values are in the row. So you can see this value here of three is telling us that there's one, two, three values in this particular row. Okay, and that's how simple it is, guys, to use the count function in Excel. Okay, so once again, guys, this was Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. And I hope this video is somewhat helpful and intuitive. And thanks for your time.